Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Security Speakeasy, where we talk all things network security. My name is Ashraf Aziz, Senior Product Marketing Manager for our Cloud Delivered Security Services here at Palo Alto Networks. And today, I'm joined by my colleague and subject matter expert, Sandhya Gupta. Sandhya, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thanks, Ashraf. Hello, everyone. I am Sandhya Gupta, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer for Web Security here with Palo Alto Networks. And I'm glad to be part of this discussion. So today, we'll be discussing the growing threat of DNS hijacking. But before we dive in, I want to give some context around DNS and the role it plays in today's threat landscape. DNS, otherwise known as the domain name system, is foundational for using the internet. Put simply, it translates easy to remember domain names into IP addresses, so users like us don't need to try and memorize long strings of numbers whenever we want to visit a website. Now, because of the role it plays in our use of the internet, it's an extremely popular target for cyber attackers. DNS carries a significant amount of data in and out of a network, making it easy for an attacker to hide and avoid detection, which is why it's so critical that organizations look to protect it. However, attackers are constantly finding new and innovative ways to abuse DNS and therefore putting extreme pressure on security vendors. And so in today's episode, we'll discuss how attackers are using DNS hijacking to breach organizations and why you should care. So Sonia, to kick things off, could you help us better understand what DNS hijacking is? Sure. So DNS hijacking is a type of DNS layer attack where DNS records for legitimate domains are modified to point to malicious IP addresses. Attackers thereby leverage DNS hijacking to penetrate into customers' network through legitimate domains by directly manipulating these DNS responses. And once they gain the ability to resolve DNS responses to attacker-operated IPs, they then redirect the users to malicious sites from which additional attacks are then initiated. So let me give you a couple of real-life examples of this, what we observed earlier this year. First was an attack on an educational institute in Southeast Asia. The attackers hacked into the authoritative DNS server of this institute, pointed the domain name to the IP of a server owned by the attacker. And then during this short span of time, users who visited the website were presented with park malicious content. Second example is of a local website of a political party in Europe. Attackers had the air record of this, pointed it to a US IP address for about two hours. They then moved to another country's IP for about 20 minutes. And during this time period, attackers redirected the users to a website phishing for their Office 365 credentials. This phishing attack was in fact later reported uh, in two of the biggest European online news portals. Now, I'm assuming there's more than one way an attacker can take control of a domain. What are some of the more common methods that you've seen? So attackers use various DNS hijacking techniques to intercept and redirect DNS queries from legitimate domains to malicious servers. Uh, it can be divided into two broad categories. First is modifying DNS response, and the second is abusing DNS misconfiguration. Now, uh, when it comes to DNS responses, it can be modified in many ways. First way is where the attackers compromise a DNS registrar account or an authoritative name, name server, either by exploiting vulnerabilities or through unauthorized access. And once it is compromised, they then go and modify the DNS records to point to malicious IP addresses. Then there is man in the middle kind of attacks where attackers position themselves between a user and a DNS server, intercepting the communication and manipulating the DNS responses, leading to DNS cache poisoning, DNS injection, DNS spoofing kind of attacks. By sending these kind of modified or fake DNS response to a user, attackers are then able to redirect the users to a phishing or a malware site. 
Now, uh, when it comes to DNS misconfiguration, attackers leverage DNS zone misconfiguration or non-resolvable domains. So what attackers do is that attackers take ownership of the expired cloud IP. They then are thereby able to control an organization subdomain where they can host malicious content. Attackers also scan for frequently queried non-resolvable domain from an organization. They then register that domain, use the DNS response to redirect the host to a malicious site. So these are the various kind of techniques that the attackers use to be able to modify and control, change the DNS response. So because these domains and these types of attacks are legitimate, it's almost as if they're invisible to the end user. Why are we seeing traditional security vendors struggle to stop this type of attack? Unfortunately, industry's current approach to securing DNS traffic leaves organizations vulnerable to a breach. If you look at it, today's traditional DNS security solution only inspects the DNS request and do offline inspection of the response path. Organizations typically rely on a third-party tool to analyze their DNS logs offline to identify response size attack. These re solutions are reactive in nature, and these offline inspection of DNS response cannot prevent DNS hijacking attacks in real time. To make the matter worse, organizations use a very slow and manual process to manage their misconfigured DNS records and retire their expired domains. Doing this manually gives attackers ample time to take control of an organization's domain and post their malicious activity. And then there's data to support this. According to IDC's research report in 2023, 33% of organizations experienced a DNS hijacking attack in 2023, while 20% of DNS records were misconfigured and therefore prone to DNS hijacking. So given that this poses such a huge threat to organizations and their ability to safely access the web, what have you heard from our customers? So our customers' research reiterates the need for protection against DNS hijacking. They want to validate DNS responses and monitor suspicious activity for all external domains. But then your standard solutions do not um, address this real time and they have to monitor using disparate tools, scripts, or even they have to build their own custom scripts, right? But they, they, are, uh, they look for abnormal DNS queries, non-resolvable domains, but this is a manual periodic review process to clean up the host and the configuration. Plus with public cloud, the DNS zone misconfigurations are a big concern and they are currently monitored with custom scripts. What they want are they are wanting an effective and automated way to have complete visibility and control of their DNS footprint. And so to ensure organizations don't fall victim to these attacks, what are the key capabilities that they should look for in their DNS security solution? So organizations should be looking for a solution that inspects and protects the entire DNS query journey. That means not only inspecting the DNS request, but just as important, the DNS response. This all should be done in real time. Reliable prevention of DNS hijacking attacks requires proactive DNS control and large-scale behavioral analytics. This means baselining customer-specific traffic and real-time AI-powered analysis of DNS response to instantly block malicious domain changes. There is also a need for a simple and effective DNS misconfiguration management to proactively block access to misconfigured domains through automated discovery and monitoring of their public facing domains. So in nutshell, organizations should be looking for a real time AI powered protection of DNS responses, as well as automated DNS configuration management and comprehensive visibility to stop DNS hijacking attacks. Thanks, Sandhya. So from everything we've discussed today, it seems that the emergence of DNS hijacking is just yet another way an attacker can abuse DNS. Now, for the audience, to summarize what we've learned today, first, DNS hijacking is a type of attack where DNS records of legitimate domains are modified to redirect users to a malicious site. And they can happen in one of two ways. An attacker can compromise the name server and redirect a user's request to a malicious site, 
by changing the IP address of a legitimate domain, or an attacker can take advantage of misconfigured domains to host their malicious content. Second, because traditional solutions only inspect the DNS request, attackers are able to easily breach a network by manipulating the DNS response. And finally, in order to stop these attacks, you need real-time AI-powered inspection of the DNS response, as well as automated configuration management to identify any changes to your domain. So with that, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this episode of Security Speakeasy. If you liked today's episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know what you thought about the video in the comments. To learn more about DNS hijacking or our DNS security solution, please visit paulaltonetworks.com for more resources or ask to be contacted by one of our sales reps. Thanks again.